everyone and welcome to part three. In this video we're going to learn how to duplicate our design and line everything up so that it's ready to paint and then cut out on the machine. Okay so first things first you're going to want to resize your design. You can do it manually like this or you can come to the scale window make sure the lock aspect is on so that when you adjust the height it adjusts the width so that the design stays the right size. It's all proportionate. I am going to make this just one inch. Uh, for my planner, I would actually usually make this much smaller, but just for the sake of the tutorial so it's easy to see, I'm going to leave it a little larger. Okay, now to replicate this, there are a few ways you can do it. You can right click and hit duplicate, and you can do it manually like this. Or you can do things like, uh, let's do a row of three, okay? And then you could do a column of three. And that's great. Or you could come on over here. If you know you want a lot, you could do fill page, okay? But don't forget, you have cut lines and print lines and registration marks. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't like to add those things really until the end, just so I have a nice clean workspace. But what we're going to do here is just a row of three, then a column of three. Not too many. Okay. And I'm going to move them around. Here we go. I'm going to put these in order so that I have space to make my offset cut lines. So what I like to do is I kind of try to make one row so that I'm like, okay, this is a good enough, good enough amount of space. I can have my cut lines. There's a little bit of breathing room. This is perfect. Okay. So I highlight all three. Then I like to space them vertically so that they're perfect. And then I'm just gonna hit align center. This is my first row. And there you go. So now I come over here and I think about how much space I wanna have between these ones. And I think that this is good. So this is as far as the design will go. If I put this here, they'll still be evenly spaced, but they overlap. It, it'll just cram them in there. So it won't go further than this. It's not going to give you that breathing room. So you need to factor that in. I know I want them to be about this far apart. So then I'd highlight them and I'd space it horizontally. Now, if it's not clear which one is furthest down and I don't want to affect these ones, I might highlight these two and just bring them up a little bit, but I can kind of tell. By that I mean I would highlight them and, and move them upwards. But I'm gonna go here and this one's on the bottom so just a line bottom. And then to be sure, space horizontally, everything is perfect, okay? And it's really just that simple. And then for me, because I'm not usually doing too many at a time, I would just come and I would do it with each row. This is how I tend to do it. And then I know I'm gonna wanna line these up with this one. So, line bottom, line bottom, okay, only highlight those ones, and then I'm going to align left. So, this one was the furthest away, do you see that? and then space vertically. Now they're perfect. And I'm just gonna do 
kind of the same thing here. We're going to align right. So did you see that? We've aligned left, we've aligned right. You kind of see how those things work. Space vertically, and then I can kind of just come in here and I might like to double check. Oh, see that doesn't look quite perfect. So I can tell that this one is the way I want it. There we go. And just remember that slight being off ever so slightly, it's it's really not the end of the world. Um, when you're dealing with planner stickers, they're so small, you're really not gonna see it. But yeah, just to make it super perfect, and then I like to group them all. Okay. Now doing this won't affect the cut lines. Um, you can still do the offset cut lines, even like that. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go to the offset window, just like last time. And we're going to put some smaller cut lines in there. You know what? I'm going to do so that you might be able to see them a little better. And there we go. And those are our cut lines. But if you remember from the previous video, they're not turned on. So I can move these around and make it easier to see these are all individual. These are grouped, but these aren't. So this is what I like to do. Okay, so these are all grouped together. There are some different things you can do. You can come here and you can snap everything to the grid. So these will kind of move out and these will all stay. And it's very easy to put everything back. Or you could highlight everything. Go to the align window, center the page. So then you can just take these out and then group everybody. And then you could come here and do cut edge. Okay, and then, oops, wrong one. And then you hit center the page and it'll put them right back in the center. So there's different ways that you can do it. But as you can see here, everybody's centered in the design. The cut lines are centered. And at this point, you can group them. So now this is all one big image, okay? This is all one big image. Anywhere you click on it. But if you recall from the last video where I have to move mine, that's not gonna work out so well. So, I come here and I ungroup. Now it'll do just the last ungrouping Okay, if I ungroup again, watch what happens. And those are the cut lines. We want everybody together. Okay. Now, I want to be sure that just the design moves. I, I don't, I'm not going to move the cut lines. You can choose either or, but I'm just going to move the design. So you can see why I have it set so slightly because when you make the design smaller, I only have to click twice. And we're not quite perfect, so I'm gonna actually go and make that even smaller. And then I'm gonna move it just that little bit more. Oops. See, now I don't know which way I'm going. Okay, perfect. So for my machine, I'm gonna move the design up then when I cut it, it's going to be centered in there because my machine cuts just a little bit off center. And, and there you go. This is why it has things like the test cut feature and, and that sort of thing so that you can kind of see how your machine cuts things. But yeah, it's, it's just that simple. And these are just some very basic skills, but it can be difficult to figure them out on, on your own, especially if you don't know the right questions to ask or put in the search engine. Everyone always just says, Google it. Well, 
if you don't know what to Google, how can you do that? So I hope that this video helped you. And if you have anyone else in the planner groups asking questions about how to do these things, they're just getting started, please send them to this video um, if you think that it will help them. All right, and if any questions, comments, please, please, please leave them in the comment section down below. I always try to get back to people um, as soon as I can. All right, bye guys.